This video is a quick, high-level intro to integral calculus. In the preceding video, we talked about what calculus is, how it's the mathematical study of continuous change, and how it has two main branches, differential calculus and integral calculus. In that preceding video, we focused on differential calculus, which is the focus of the calculus one subject that we are undertaking presently. I want to provide you now with a quick introduction to what integral calculus is. We'll focus on that later in the second calculus subject, but you should understand what it is at a high level, if only to distinguish it against the differential calculus that will be our primary focus in the forthcoming videos. So integral calculus is the study of areas under curves, or even more generally, of identifying the area of a shape. It facilitates the inverse of differential calculus. So in the preceding video on differential calculus, we had an example where a vehicle was traveling over time. So we had a chart of its distance traveled over time. And we were able to take the first derivative using differential calculus to turn that chart of distance over time into a chart of speed over time like this. Well, integral calculus allows us to do the opposite of what we did with differential calculus. So with differential calculus in that preceding video, we were going from distance over time to speed over time. And with integral calculus, we can take this chart of speed over time and calculate the area under the curve, which corresponds exactly to the total distance traveled. Cool, that's it. So differential calculus, it allows us to compute derivatives, find the slope of curves and create charts like this that represent speed over time. And then integral calculus allows us to go back and say, okay, if I have a chart of speed over time and I'd like to know how much distance I traveled, we can compute the area under the curve, which I've shaded in gray here, and boom, we have that distance again. Coming up next is a quick history of calculus, which will also provide us with a better understanding of how calculus works today.